They've gone. It's either three, four, or five thousand. What do you think they should go for? <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> they want to go for four thousand. Let's wish them the best. There we are. Come on, the team. Down here. You just stand there, straight side by side. Thank you. Follow me the same distance across. All right. The very best of luck. All right. For your first four hundred pound, top, middle, or bottom. Where do you want to go? Okay. <laughs> Middle. In the middle for the first 400. Come on. Oh, yes. Okay. Just there. All right. For 800 pounds, top, middle, or bottom. Where do you want to go? Bottom. Down the bottom for 800. Do you want to go down there? Yes. <laughs> okay. For 1,200 pounds, top, middle, or bottom. Where do you want to go? Top, middle. Middle. Top. In the middle. Okay. For 1,200. Come on. Ooh. That's one hot spot gone. We'll allow you two more. OK, this time, for £1,200, top, middle or bottom, where do you want to go? Top. Up the top for 1200 Come on! Yes! That's it. Here we go. OK, for £1,600, the top, the middle or the bottom, where do you want to go? Top, middle or bottom? For 1600 Bottom. The bottom one for 1600 Come on! Ooh! Question. OK. Pierre Cardin invented the cardigan. Is that true or false? False. Oh. That's it, £1,600. You're on your way over to come. Just come over, Gene. All right, stay there. You're doing very well. You use one hot spot now for £2,000. The top, the middle, or the bottom. Where do you want to go? The middle one. In the middle for £2,000. Come on. Yes! OK. OK, for £2,400. Top, middle, or bottom. Where do you want to go? Bottom one. The bottom one for two four. Come on, up you come. Yes! <laughs> okay. All right. Now this is the situation. You've got three screens to go. We'll lay you two more hot spots. Two. You can jump from two four right up to four thousand pound on this one. So it's for the jackpot. It's the top, the middle, or the bottom. Where do you want to go? The top, the middle, or the bottom? Middle. The middle one. For the jackpot, they want to go in the middle. Come on. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Come down here. Uh, uh, well done, you're all right. Come here. Let's have a look at the screens and see what they'll work. Uh... We played, played a marvellous game there, and uh, what a way to end this particular show because you take it away with you tonight. The exercise bike, the CD for the car, the designer suit, a holiday in Miami, the one, money you won earlier, that's £4,100 as well. So, you happy with that, Lally? Ooh, very happy. He's <laughs> very happy. <laughs> OK. <laughs> well done, Gene. Uh, We're both very happy as well. We'll see you at yeah. the same time next week. Good night, God bless. All right, bye-bye. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Up next, the fifth most watched programme on UK TV in 1987. You never know when that might crop up in a pub quiz. There's more avoiding those hot spots with another Strike It Lucky in just a mo. Then weekdays at four, Simon Mayo knows the way to blockbusters. You've made us wait long enough. What's your final answer? Mecca Bingo Online, sponsors of Challenge. Choosing a Stilts Home Lift means you can continue living in the home you love. A Stilts Home Lift is more versatile than a stair lift, and our customers find it a more attractive option. Moving home can be expensive and emotionally draining. Safe, quiet, and compact, a Stilts Home Lift gives you independence. So, why have a stair lift when you can have a real lift? Call our friendly UK team on 0808 3023 111 or visit stilts.co.uk. From food and drinks to flights and transfers, there's so much included with TUI River Cruises. Plus, you can now cruise down the Nile next winter. TUI. Live happy at All Protected. Which would you choose? This four-star Cotswolds break. Or this one from Woucher. Woucher. Save now. Live wow. Join Happy Tiger. Try a completely new online bingo game today. It's bingo that'll make your jaw drop. And it's super social. 
play for as little as 25p and get your chance to win up to £2,500 every five minutes. So what are you waiting for? Come join us. Just search for Happy Tiger Bingo. Happy Tiger Bingo. Low stakes, roaring bingo fun. Definitely hoping to go below that red line. Pointless Celebrities, weeknights 7 on Challenge. Congratulations, number three. You said cup of tea. That's the top answer. Mecca Bingo Online, sponsors of Challenge. On Strike It Lucky tonight, a jackpot of £5,000. <laughs> Cross the legendary Golden Gate Bridge, win a holiday in San Francisco. A trip to a film premiere in a luxury limousine. Fun in the sun, a holiday in Florida. All these prizes to be won tonight on Strike It Lucky. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your host, Michael Barrymore. Nice to see you. Good evening. How do you do? It's Hello. Neil, is it? That's right. Hi, Neil. Welcome. And Louise. Louise. How are you? You Hello. OK? Yeah, thanks. And whereabouts you two from? From St. Coalfield, near Birmingham. Right. Are you married? Yes. Yeah, yes. Yes, very nice. How long have you been married? Four years. Yeah. Any uh, little ones? One on the way. Have you? <laughs> Here is he. <laughs> Might be a she. Hey? Might be a she. <laughs> Might be a she. Yeah. <laughs> How do you know, Neil? You don't know. <laughs> Might have something to do with it. Did you? Yeah. Oh, you were there, were you? <laughs> right. Well, you don't know, do you? I mean, you've yeah. got to ask these things. And Louise, what do, what do you do? Do you work? I work for a greeting card company. I see, yeah. I see. What do you do, Neil? I'm a policeman. Oh, you're a policeman, yeah. though, sir. How are you? All right, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Put it there, pal. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Mate. <laughs> so, uh, any ambitions, Louise? Well, I'd like to go to the Caribbean. Not been there? No, but it might be a bit difficult, because Neil doesn't like flying. <laughs> ah. <laughs> no, were you, uh, what about the boats? You all right? Yeah, it? yeah, I love the boats. Yeah, I was in, yeah. The, I was in the Navy before I joined the force. So. You don't, don't mind a uniform, do you? No. Yeah. <laughs> Is there something about that? Did you, did you like it as a kid, uniforms? Um, <laughs> I was in the boys' brigade, but other than that, not really. Boys' no. brigade? Well, yeah. that's another uniform. That's another uniform. <laughs> so basically, Neil, you like dressing up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Uh, and this is how you got the promotion. <laughs> <laughs> well, we wish you all the best with the baby and good luck to you Thank tonight. You. Let's Thank welcome you. them. There's Neil and Louise. Nice to meet you. Oh. Right, the ladies clapping you there. Hello. 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 Hello, Paula. How are you? I'm smashing now seeing you, Luke. Oh, oh <laughs> lovely. You're nice and relaxed. You're very relaxed, aren't you? Not Hiya. really. Hiya, Harry. Hi. Nice Michael. to meet you. You married the two of you? Oh. We should be 42 years. <laughs> oh, yeah, we should be. I'm going to laugh. What's the matter with you, lad? Can't you see we've been together? We don't know how we've stuck it, but we have. Oh, yeah, I know. So, <laughs> yes. So, how are you, Paula? Fine. Good. And where are you from? We're from Morecambe in Lancashire. Yes. And uh, yeah. no, the Morecambe Council looking after you, all right, are they? Don't talk to me about the Morecambe Council, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. no, 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 no. no. Well, what's that? Careful, careful. No, 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 what's, no, we've got the short faces there again when we go back. Wait a minute, Michael. This what, Harry? <laughs> <We've> got... <laughs> No, this must... the, the police waiting for us when we go back. There's a cop here, you'll be all right. <laughs> now then, oh, listen, the council a few years ago, they said, right, we have a very nice thriving market in Fulton Square and we'll make it a permanent one. So they spent thousands of pounds of our money. Thousands of thousands of pounds of, of the great payers great money. Payers money. Thousands and thousands. Aye. Yes, yes. Thousands of pounds. Who would have thought we'd ever have thousands of pounds? And what they do? Wait, <laughs> finish yet? Yes. No, they did. Anyway, they built this. They built this new. Are you ready? I'm. I'm listening, love. I'm listening, but I'm that annoyed. I'm that annoyed. I know. I know it's going to be a bad one. Go on. It love. is. It is. Go on. Thousands of pounds. Smack them in the mouth. <laughs> That's worse. Listen. No, I'm listening, love. It's not. So, I am. Now, are you listening? I am listening. Right. Thousands of pounds on building Morecambe Market up, right? Morecambe Market. Thousands of 
£100 on building a set of toilets yes. to accommodate market people, right? Nice, nice toilets. And now they're going to pull it... Oh, beautiful. And now they're going to pull it all down and they're going to move the market and nobody wants them to... Oh, but those councillors are going to move that market. Oh, they'll move it. They will. They'll move it. They will. So they, you're not too pleased with them then? Oh, the... Very, very. I tried to be a councillor, but they wouldn't have me. They wouldn't have you? Oh. I wonder why, Paula. I wonder why they didn't have you as a councillor. Now you know why. <laughs> I can't think for a second. <laughs> no, she's fine. So, who did you complain to anybody about it? Oh, I've signed every petition I can find in town and I get other people to sign them too. Yeah, well, did you make a complaint at all? Or... Oh, it's a waste of time. You just sign petitions and hope for the best. Oh, yeah. tell me about when we had a pub in London. Yeah, a pub in London, yeah. <laughs> now, now, we had this pub in London, you see, and we were very honest, and every penny we took at the till, it went in the bank. And when we had our first stock take, we were £190 down. <laughs> uh, yes, and I said to him, well, how can... Right, so we said, uh, I said I'm like, Rory, and I said, now look here, we cannot be... Oh, they said, look after your stops and watch your staff. Well, we were watching my staff, we couldn't see anything wrong, they were as nice as you. Mm. Well, I thought they were anyway. Yeah, anyway right. They were nice, ordinary people. So, I said, I want another stock take. There's something going wrong here. So he said, we can't do another stock take, we're just having <laughs> you to look after. So, anyway, they... they this is face. This, this, this. Is that, no, it's his face. Go on, Paula. Come further forward. Yeah, come further forward, Harry. Do as you told him. I can watch what he's up to. I can see what he's up to. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, now, where were we, Mike? £192 down. Oh, so, yes. <laughs> so, Brewery... Yes, well, behave yourself for a minute. Brewery, out of the blue, they came and... Just go on, love. Give Harry, him a chair. I'm all right. Carry on. Out of the blue... Out of the blue, the brewery sent a stock taker, and I wasn't expecting them. And yeah, go on. Was it, was it the You'll miss the point. Shut up. <laughs> 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 you so, I was trying to... So, then... Are you listening? I'm listening, love. Then, I'm 92... I'm 92 pounds down. Yeah, go on. You, you I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, love. <laughs> Oh, I said, up in a lure, it's then. I'm trying to hide it. So, anyway, 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 they anyway. found out who it was and they said, now, you sack that chap in the Irish bar, he's doing it to you. Oh, he was doing so it. So we had to get rid of him, but we left the pub. He lost two stone in weight and I think he'd have been, he'd have gone forever if I kept in the pub. Oh. Couldn't take it, terrible. Oh, I don't blame you. Yeah, and Harry, um, you got any hobbies? <laughs> <laughs> You're used to this, aren't you? I'm used to it. You're used to it. <laughs> I hope that, that's uh, my hobby is getting away from it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you must be very happy. Oh, well, she's a well, lovely we lady. Have, oh. We have fun. We have fun. Yeah, so, yeah. so you, and the other. You, uh, and what? <laughs> and the other. <laughs> and the other. <laughs> you were wonderful. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Nice to meet you, Paula and Harry. All right? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Hi, Jean. Hi. How are you? Hi, David. Nice Hi. to meet you. Hello. Well, what do I say after that? No, no. no, no, no. Where are you from, the two of you? Essex. Es oh, you're a nice Essex girl, are you, Jean? Yes. Yes, I see. So, David, what do you, what do, you do? I am a painter and decorator. Yeah? And it's, how's the business at the moment? Very slow. It's slow, yeah, is it? Yeah. Poor, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, any family? I've got a little boy, Alfie, of four. What's it all about, Alfie? Alfie. Here's a glass for the moment. What's it all about? Elfie. That's enough, love. Thank you. <laughs> and um, what about uh, where, 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 your, your husband uh, back at home, is he? He's retired, he's in the audience. Oh, he's here actually. tonight, is he? You got your family here as well? No, I haven't actually, no. No, uh, no you haven't looking, actually. Is that your telephone voice, David? I'm on television, I talk like this now. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what, what, what uh, so is he your son in law? He is. Oh, I see. Yes. So you got a little one? A little boy of Alfie. Alfie, yeah, we've done that, haven't we? And, 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 twins. <laughs> And I've got twins on the way. My wife's got twins on the way. Got, you got what? My wife's got twins on the way. Oh, she's got twins on the way? Oh, yeah, yeah. she's got a baby on the way as well. Yeah. Twins or a single one? Don't know yet. Oh, I've never looked, Neil. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Must be the weather. Hey? Must be the weather. Must be the weather you're all having at the same time like that. And uh, what, what was added to your uh, husband? Where'd you meet him, Jean? Um, dancing. Dancing, yeah? Yes. What was he doing? Um, I think he used to sing, actually, on the stage, and we had to, he had a little wink, you know, he gives me a little wink. A wink? A wink. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because... 
well, you know, some people at home might not have quite <laughs> caught, caught that, you know. And, you know, oh, it's a, a little that's out, that's wink. Out, yeah, 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 I see. Yeah. And that, that attracted you, did it? It certainly did. And he chatted you up? Yes. And I see. All right, well, have a lovely night with us, Gene. Welcome, David, Thank as well. Let's much. give a nice round of applause. And let's get on the show. All right, good luck to you all here. You're OK. All right. OK, this is how we play the game now. The idea of the game is to get from one side to the other. The first couple to get across gets a chance to go on a jackpot and win anything up to £5,000. You toss a coin, a coin, a coin <laughs> earlier on to decide who's going first. So if your partners would like to go to their places, we can start. Let's give them a bit of encouragement. Let's start. Here we go. Good luck. All right. Right, David. Right, Paula. There you go. There you go. Okay, we we'll start with the first category then. Uh, TV stars for you, Louise. Two, three, or four? Two, please. Right. He was once Robin Hood and recently played Jake Lovell in Jilly Cooper's Riders. Michael Prade. He plays PC Nick Rowan in Heartbeat. Nick Berry. Two moves, you're off. Okay. All right. Now. Okay, Neil. First screen we give you absolutely free. Okay, on each of your moves, you've got to watch a hot spot. What is a hot spot? Not. <laughs> Neil, strike the screen. Let's see what your first prize is. A microwave oven. Do you want to bang that or is there something on the next screen? What are you going to do? You going on? Oh. All right. Okay. Strike the screen, Neil. Mm. Electric. What's that? Organ electronic organizer, a personal organizer, and a microwave oven. They're yours. Okay. We go on to the next category. Uh, the next category in which American state? In which American state, Harry? Two, three, or four? Two. For your first move, the following towns can be found in which state of America? Los Angeles. Uh, California. Tampa. Tampa. Florida. That's right. Two moves are yours. You're off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You are, love? You're all now. You are, love? I'm going to come in now. I, I don't know, love. Uh, uh, <laughs> there are, that's, that's it. There you are. Just get yourself there. Right. All right. Bash okay. Bash it now. Hey, no, well, don't bash it. Just give it a little tap. Give it a tap. Right. No, the other one there. That, that's it. Oh, I don't look. Uh. What should be a hot spot? Hundred pound. Ooh. Now, do you want to bank that or risk there something on the next screen? What bank are you going to? Bank it. Bank it. Bank it. Bank it. You banking it? Or are you going up? Oh. Hey. Stick it in the bank. Stick it in the bank. Hey. All right. Okay. That's what you want to do. That's where you go. Okay. All right. We go on to the. Uh, Next category, which is African countries for you, Jean, two, three, or four? Two, please. This African country includes the city of Marrakesh. Egypt. Is wrong, I'm afraid, Jean, sorry. This African country includes the city of Marrakesh. Morocco. And Ky Cairo can be found in this African country. Egypt. Uh, two are yours, all right, okay, all right. Okay, Neil, straight the screen. The typewriter. Do you want to bank that or risk there's nothing on the next screen? No? Going on. Going on? Use the typewriter, Neil, don't you? Well, it work. <laughs> Ooh. You lose the typewriter. We go on to the next category, which is This Is My Film. It's called Two, Three or Four for you, Harry. Two. In this film with Daniel Day Lewis, you could do your washing. My Beautiful Laundrette. This film starred Bob Hope and Dorothy L'Amour. Uh, my Favourite Brunette. That's it. Two moves are yours. All right. Oh, you're getting very excited there, Paula. Oh, yes. As long as they need me, get on with it. I know Shut her where I, I must be. be. I'll cling on steadfastly as long as she needs me. When you are lonely, then you will know. Someone needs you, you love them so. I won't betray his trust. Those people say I must. I'll cling to stay through joy.
Oh, we're here, up here. Sutton Street. Oh, I don't look at this. Designer dress. Now, do you want to bank that? Oh, I'm going, I'm going. Oh. Do you want a designer dress? No, I've got this. Tuttons. <laughs> got it for tuttons. <laughs> oh. oh, no, never mind. Oh, never mind. Well, you, it doesn't matter whether you do mind. <laughs> OK, we go on to the next category, which is geography. For oh you, Jean? Good. Two. Two, please. All right. Which of the following is a large mass of slow moving frozen water? Peppers. No. no. It's no, wrong, it's Jean. It's... Never mind, don't worry. It's just how the catcher's come out. Which of these is a large mass of slow moving frozen water? Glacier. Yeah. And which of these is a long and steep, narrow inlet of the sea? Uh, for yours. That's right. Two moves for yours. OK. On the road. OK, Neil. Strike three. Let's see what you got. A film premiere and a limo. There's a film premiere. And we'll give you a limousine to take you there as well. You got to bank it? Moving. moving on. All right, strike the screen. A Welsh dresser and a film premiere. OK. Right. On with the next category. Back now with you, Harry. Two, three, or four on who wrote it. Two, three, or four. Two, please. Who is the author of the following titles? The 39 Steps. John Buchan. And The History of Mr. Polly. H.G. Wells. Two of yours. All right, OK. <laughs> Off you go, Paula. A Falcon we Weekend. A what? Oh, my God. <laughs> go on. Go on. Go on. Oh. I thought Harry might fancy a great big bird landing on his arm. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. All right. <laughs> Gold bracelet and the uh, Falcon Wee Weekend. All right. OK. Go on to the next category. Right, Back with you now, Jean. We need to get you started. In which <laughs> county? Okay, two, three, or four. Two, please. In which <laughs> county are the following? Cannock Chase. We'll take a guess if you're not sure. Staffordshire. Well done. Okay, for your second move, Whipsnade Zoo. Whipsnade Zoo. Uh, that's Hampshire. It's no, it's not. not it's I'm afraid, there. Jean. No bad luck. Okay, Louise. Uh, Bedfordshire. Bedfordshire is right. The two moves are yours. Okay. <laughs> Right, Neil, strap the screen. Oh, OK, all right. <laughs> OK, we go on to the next category, which is makes of car for you, Harry. Makes of car, two, three or four? Two. two oh, two or three, actually. You've got three screens there. Do you, what do you want, two or three? Oh, we can try three. <laughs> all right, OK. Which, uh, which company makes the following cars? Ford. Sierra. Vauxhall. Cavalier. Fiat. Cherry. No, oh. it's wrong. It is wrong, I'm afraid, Harry. Chance for you, Jean? Let's try. No, no, it's wrong, Jean. And you can take it, Louise. Do you Panda. know what? Fiat Panda's right, you take it. OK, there we are. <laughs> All right, strike three, Neil. <laughs> Italian holiday, a holiday in Italy. You, now you've got to decide whether you want to bank that holiday in Italy or answer the main striking lucky question. We're going to find out what they're going to do in a couple of minutes' time. We'll see you after the break. All right, see you then. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> Number four. I like to think ahead. Make sure I've got all the right tools for the job. And now that I've turned 50, it means looking after what I've built. I'll be retiring down the line, and with the mortgage nearly done, I want to make sure that my lot will be protected if anything happened to me. That's why I decided to learn more about Over 50's life insurance from Cover Today. They're the only Over 50's life insurer with no waiting period. Unlike other insurers who could make you wait up to two years for full cover, with Cover Today, you're fully covered from day one. And you're covered for the whole of your life. <laughs> Plus, unlike other things in life, the price never goes up. Learning more couldn't be simpler and can be done in just a few minutes. Go online or talk to one of their friendly UK team who will chat you through your options in just one phone call. And their claims process is really straightforward, so your loved ones will be looked after. Cover Today are the only over 50s life insurer with no waiting period. Get covered in minutes with no annoying trips to the doctor. With fixed monthly payments, prices start at just £4.42 a month. Plus, you get your choice of a £125 gift card. Cover Today has given me genuine peace of mind. And now that's done, I can get on with something much more interesting. 
To find out more about Cover Today, call our friendly UK team on 0800 458 6915 or visit covertoday.co.uk. With People's Postcode Lottery, Saturday's just got a million times better. Amazing! Every single Saturday, one lucky postcode is guaranteed to win a share of £1 million. Oh, yeah, I'm going to try my luck. My luck came in. <laughs> it set us up for life. For a chance to win Millionaire Street, play before midnight on the 24th of August. Join in because one day they could be knocking on your door like they've just knocked on ours. Someone's knocking at the door. Somebody's ringing the bell. Win at Staying In with broadband you can trust when you're working from home. Now you can get BT Broadband, even our ultra-reliable full fibre, from only £27.99 a month on a 24-month contract. Plus, get a £20 money-back speed guarantee and Norton Security to keep you protected online. Hurry, offer ends 17th of August. Switch to BT today and win at staying in. Hi. Hi, Stuart. Just a sec. OK. Impressed by your security, looks very high tech. It is. We got it from Simply Safe. So we chose a range of sensors that work for us alongside the HD cameras. We feel really safe now. Must have set you back a bit. It was surprisingly affordable and really easy to install. It's definitely the smart choice to protect your home and family. Systems start from under £200 when you buy a professional monitoring plan. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Happiness is. Happiness is. Happiness is Different things to different people That's what happiness is Etsy has home style gifts Etsy has it Macmillan Coffee Morning is back this September So let's get together and do whatever it takes For people living with cancer Whether you're making it, baking it, even faking it Dancing, laughing, family gathering, or just coffee and chatting. The money you raise helps us do whatever it takes for people living with cancer. There's still time to join in. Order your free coffee morning kit today by searching Macmillan Coffee Morning now. At NFU Mutual, we're proud to be the Witch Insurance Brand of the Year for the second year in a row. For insurance you can rely on, join NFU Mutual today. what I call lucky. Welcome back to part two of Strike It Lucky. Now, the situation we've got... Uh, where is he? Where are you hiding? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> David's over there. <laughs> and we've got uh, Paula just coming up here to the uh, N2 monitors. And we've got Neil and... Louise here on the main strike it lucky question. Now you've got on offer the holiday in Italy, you can bank it, it's safe, or do you want to answer the question? What are you going to do? Question. You've got to take a chance? Yeah. Okay, the very best of luck to you. All right. <laughs> this MGM film set during the American Civil War will really strike it lucky with its stars Clark Gable, Vivian Lee, and Olivia de Havilland. What is the title of the film? No. Gone with the Wind. Is it saying Gone with the Wind? You're going on to tonight's final, that's it. Well done, Dan. Come you. Okay. Paul, are you back? Come back. Well done. All right. Have you come, David? There we are. Why don't you go down, Paul? Well done, Dave. Very much. There you go. All right. Well done, everyone. Well, Jean and David, bad luck with the categories, oh, Jean. Nice. Just had to come out. It happens a lot of times, and we don't let anybody go away empty-handed, so um, we better find, uh, see if we've got something in there, at least, for you to take home. OK. I see on that one. Mm, CD player. It's not bad. And uh, up you come. A set of encyclopedias and the CD player. Is that all right? OK. Thank you. All right. Nice to meet you. All the best, and you, David. All the best with the baby. Thank you. Babies. <coughs> Paula and Harry, you're taking away with you tonight a gold bracelet, a falconry weekend, and a hundred pound. Okay. Oh, well, thanks for being great sports, <laughs> and uh, it's lovely to meet you. <laughs> and you as well. And you, Harry. Thank you. You're very nice. Thank you. Oh, uh, very kind of you. Thank you. Very nice.
All right, and Neil and Louise, you've already won a microwave oven, an electronic organiser, a Welsh dresser, a film premiere, and a limousine to take you there as well, a holiday in Italy, a chance now to win that jackpot. Let's give him a nice round of applause. Let's give him a bit of a for Neil. Here's how we play the end game. We played the game as you did before, but this time you play the game horizontally and vertically. I'll ask you which move you want to make. You shout out top, middle or bottom. If you look at the screens there now, you can see we've got ten arrows, ten questions and ten hotspots. If you go for our top money tonight at £5,000, no more than two hotspots, £4,000, no more than three, and £3,000, no more than four. If you go for our top money and you fail to get right the way across, we'll give you £500 for every successful move you make. OK, the computer will now jumble them all up. <laughs> That's it, they've gone, OK? Your prize is the same, so what do you want to do? Three, four or five thousand pounds? What do you think they should go for? They're going to go for four thousand pounds. Let's wish them the best of luck. Over you come, Neil. You say stand there. And Louise, best of luck to you. For your first four hundred pounds, then, do you want the top, the middle or the bottom? Where do you want to go? Yeah. Want to go at the top for the first four hundred? <laughs> Question, OK. Pop singer Madonna was born in Kathmandu. Is that true or false? False. Yes, it's a £500. <laughs> OK, you're off. There we are. <laughs> All right, for £800, top, middle or bottom, where do you want to go? Bottom. Down the bottom. Down the bottom for 800 Come on. Ooh. OK, that's one with a lay. Two more. You're allowed £400 you've already got. Now, this time for 800 top, middle or bottom, where do you want to go? Bottom again for £800. Ooh, question. Box Hill is the highest mountain in the world. Is that true or false? False. <laughs> That's right, it's Everest. That becomes £800. There you come. All right. For £1,200, top, middle, or bottom for £1,200. Oh. Up, the top, up the top for £1,200. Ooh. Oh. That's two gone. One more I allow you. You've got £800. All right, we're coming up to the halfway mark. This time for £1,200, top, middle, or bottom. Where do you want to go? Up the top again for 1200 come on! Oh, God, you got unbelievable. <laughs> Fanny Craddock was a distinguished opera singer. Is that true or false? False. False, she was a cook. That's right, £1,200. Over you come. All right, just hold it there. OK, for £1,600, do you want the top, the middle or the bottom? Once more hot spot in the In the middle, they want to go in the middle for 1600 come on. Ooh. £1,200 you've got, all the hotspots are gone, the question comes up, you've got to get it right, OK? And we've got four screens to go. OK, this time, for £1,600, the top, the middle or the bottom, where do you want to go? Middle. In the middle for the £1,600, come on, please! Yes, that's it! OK. You're OK for £2,000, top, middle or bottom, no hotspots. Top. Up the top for the £2,000, where is it going? What's the question? OK, Ben Nevis is a mountain in Indochina. Is that true or false? False. That's false. It's in Scotland. 2,000. Well done. Just hold it there. OK. Two screens to go. Two screens to go. This is for 2,400. The top, the middle or the bottom? Where do you want to go? Come on, you're nearly Middle. Hey? Middle. In the middle. Come on, for 2,4. Oh! Bad luck. Let's give a nice round of applause. Come on, Louise. Let me come. You want to just stand there? You stay beside of me, Neil. All right, well done. Let's have a look at the screens and see where they all work. Ooh, we'll run there in the middle. Well, never mind. You've done very well. Let's tell you what you're taking away with you tonight, Louise and Neil. You're taking away with you a microwave oven, electronic organiser, a Welsh dresser, uh, the film premiere, the limo to take you there, a holiday in Italy, and two thousand pounds that you've won there. You had a nice night oh, with I us. Had a nice all the best you. for the baby. I hope it turns <laughs> out lovely for you and you, Neil. Very well done. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you very much indeed. Tell us here at the same time next week. Good night, the best. All right, good night. Thank you. Good night. Stay and play with Challenge and Simon Mayo as our contestants hop across the hexagons to take on the gold run. Blockbusters is next. And in the spirit of Blockbusters, What B is a dark based game show on Challenge. It's Bullseye and it's here at five. Six.
give us a clickety click if you can still hear us. Mecha Bingo Online, sponsors of Challenge. From the Arctic to the tropics and rivers to rainforests, get closer to islands bursting with life. If you needed a reason to stay with us, then we've got a million of them. Chris is here to play Classic Millionaire. Weeknights at 10, new on Challenge. 58, you've made us wait long enough. What's your final answer? Mecha Bingo Online, sponsors of Challenge. Blockbusters, presented by Simon Mayo. Audio described by Therese Birch. Three contestants battle to recognize well-known words or phrases from their initials, and so complete a line across the board. It's Blockbusters, with your host, Simon Mayo. Hello and welcome to Blockbusters. It's the show where we find out if two heads are better than one, making their way across the Blockbusters board. Each hexagon you see on the board contains the first letter to a general knowledge question. Our solo player has to make a connection white to white, top to bottom, while the pair are connecting across the board, blue to blue. It's the best of three games, and whoever triumphs makes their way onto the fabled gold run, where prizes wait in store. When we last met, John from Essex was just about to attempt his first gold run. You're still down there, John, OK? Still waiting. OK. Did you stay there all night? Yeah, I made sure the studio was secure. Well, let's do it, and here's your first gold run board. You have 60 seconds to make your way across, connecting left to right, gold to gold. If you make it to the other side, you'll win the first gold run prize. You can pass on any question. Your time starts... The board as as lights up. ...where you want to begin. T-A-D, please. British champions at the 1984 Winter Olympics. YP. Not a dessert, but an accompaniment to roast beef. Yorkshire pudding. Yes. W-R-U. Make a parcel or finish your speech. Wind it up. It up is right, but the up. first word was wrong. Wrap it up. Yes. L-E. Rotating landmark on the south bank in the capital. London Eye. Yes. T-F-B. A pony is slang for this sum of money. Uh, £350. No. Uh, GBS. Irish-born playwright whose works include... George Bernard Shaw. Correct. G-A-S. He's from Billericay and she's from Gavin Barry. Stacey. Gavin and Stacey is right at the back. It's a gold run. Well done. Well done, John. This is what you've won. After your first gold run, you've shown that you've definitely got your eyes on the ball. Well, now, you can fix your eyes on this little gadget. Courtesy of Zavi.com, you've won yourself a 3D games console. No glasses needed for this prize. Just switch it on and away you go. It'll bring out the kid in you in no time. We never found out whether you were a gamer, John. You don't have much spare time, but are you a bit of a gamer? Yeah, I'll have a go with that. So there's something else for you to lose yourself in. Yeah. You passed on two. British champions at the 1984 Winter Olympics. It was right at the very beginning we were thinking, come on, John, we know you can get this. Torval and Dean. Oh, of course. A pony is slang for this sum of money, £25. That's what it was. Uh, anyway, none of that matters. Because you've won the first gold run, there may be more. John, congratulations and back to your seat, please. <laughs> so, John triumphant from his first gold run, returning to his seat now, so it's time to meet our new contestants. They are Kyle and Rob from Sunderland. <laughs> All right, Kyle? All right, Rob, this is John. He's our new champion, and he's pretty smart and he's pretty good. Uh, you're very welcome to the show. Kyle, you're a banker, and indeed. Rob, you're a banker. I am indeed as well, yeah. So you've lost the audience already. Yep. <laughs> um, I should say, actually, at this point, that this isn't like banking. If you do really badly, you don't get a bonus at the end. <laughs> okay. Just to, I mean, I know you don't get any of this all the way through, but, you know, if you're going to be in banking, this is the kind of stuff that's coming your way. No problem. Uh, what kind of bankers are you? Um, personal bankers. And what does that mean? Well, we just help people in everyday banking needs and whenever they need any products, help them do it if they ever need our help with finances or any insurances, whether people come to see. 
Yeah. Carl and Rob, uh, you're very welcome to the show. You Thank know, it's the best of three. You know, you're up against the top champion here. So we'll move on and here comes our next board. Flashing J, that's where we're going to start. So let's play Blockbuster. <laughs> John playing Kyle and Rob. What J is the name of an album by JLS and is a coin-operated machine? The letter J flashes. John has 85 points. Jackpot. Incorrect. Full question to Kyle and Rob. What J is the name of an album by JLS and is a coin-operated machine that automatically plays tracks from a list? Uh, Rob. It's a jukebox. Jukebox is right, yes. Well done. You're on the board. <laughs> And a blue hexagon. Where do you like to go next? Can I take a H, please, Simon? What H, whose work includes For the Love of God, a diamond encrusted skull, is the surname of an artist? Damien John. Hurst. Hurst is right. Yes, you're on the board <laughs> with your first white hexagon. Where next, John? Have a K, please, Simon. What K is a type of boomerang? John. <laughs> Full question to Kyle and Rob. What K is a type of boomerang and the singer, who in her own inimitable way is also known for spinning around? Rob. The Kylie. Kylie is right, yes. <laughs> Where next, gents? Can I take an S, please? What S is the name of an area of southern France which gives its name to a cabbage? John. Savoy. Savoy is right, yes. <laughs> Can I have a R, please, Simon? What R is the main ingredient of kedgeree, paella and risotto? John. Rice. Rice is right, yes. <laughs> Three can... hexagons against two. Where next? Uh, can I have an A, please, Simon? What A is the country that won the 2011 Eurovision Song Contest? John. Albania? <laughs> You were just thinking of a country yeah, vaguely right. geographically European that started with an A. Full question to Kyle and Rob. No conferring. What A is the country that won the 2011 Eurovision Song Contest for the first time when a duo sang the winning song, Running Scared? Rob. Is it Azerbaijan? It is Azerbaijan, yes. Can I take a C, please? What C is the spa town at the foot of the Cotswold Hills... John. Cheltenham. Famous for its Gold Cup. Cheltenham is right, yes. <laughs> My next, John. Can I have an F, please, Simon? What F causes the match head to light when it is struck on a rough... John. Flint. No, full question to Carl and Rob. What F causes the match head to light when it is struck on a rough surface? <laughs> Kyle. Friction. Friction is right, yes. <laughs> Surprised you got it right? I was just... I was going to say fraction. I thought that's to do with math, so it's got to be friction. Yeah. <laughs> fraction <laughs> would have been <laughs> wrong. Good to know the banker's on top of the money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Knows a, um, a fraction and a percentage when he needs it. Yes, <laughs> where next? Um, can I take a D, please, Simon? Yeah. What D used inside a cover can be single, double or king-sized, <laughs> graded... Rob? Duvet. By a tog rating, duvet is the right answer. Yes, well done. <laughs> We've got hexagons all over the place. Let's continue to light them up, gents. Yeah, can I take the tea, please? What tea is an Indian way of cooking in a very hot oven, John? Tandoor. Is the wrong answer. Full question to Kyle and Rob. What tea is an Indian way of cooking in a very hot oven and a popular chicken dish? <laughs> yes, Rob. Tandoori. Tandoori is right. It's the dish that we wanted. <laughs> Absolutely right. <laughs> Hey, we've got a flashing blue board. It's taken a while, but we're there, and we have the blue hexagons flashing. John, pressure on you, sir. Carl and Rob, where next? Yeah, sorry, John. Um, can I have a pee, please? Sir? What pee was noticed in September 1928 on culture plates left in a lab by Dr Alexander John? Penicillin. Fleming was the last word, and penicillin is right. Yes, well blocked. <laughs> From a flashing blue to a flashing white board, the pressure flip-flopping now back onto Kyle and Rob. John. Have a B, please, Simon. What B is the suit, which means completely naked? 
John. Birthday. Birthday is right. Well done. That's Blockbusters. <laughs> So the first game goes to John, but that was a great game, Carl and Robin. You had the flashing blue board. It wasn't about to start. So you were close. And the yellow, blue and white hexagons on the board flash. I think we've said that. <laughs> I think we've, we've come across a little bit ditzy and a little bit dumb. I think with our accent sometimes, but hopefully you never know. See how game two pans out. And, and Rob, as well as a banker, you're a referee. I am, yes. Which makes you a, a real glutton for punishment, <laughs> I yeah, would think. I not, not much goes on in my social life, which makes me quite popular, but um, <laughs> it's good well, fun. I enjoy it. Uh, anyone who's just watched that last game realises that you're not ditzy and dumb, and John certainly has realised that, because that was one heck of a game. But you do need to win the next one to stay in it, because no it's the best of three. Here we go, and here's our next board. A flashing G, we start there, so let's play Blockbusters. <laughs> Is the, the letters festival appear. In Somerset. Kyle. Glastonbury. Renowned for its music and sometimes its. The scores John 115, Kylie and Rob 30. That may be the way to win. Uh, can I have it all, please, Simon? What O is an exclamation of approval at Spanish flamenco events? John. Ole. Ole is right, yes. <laughs> and you're on the board. Can I have an A, please, Simon? What A are the ingredients in many commercial foods usually identified by their John? Additives. Is the right answer. E numbers was the final bit of the question. <laughs> so with John one game up, but Kyle and Rob doing their best to prove they're not ditzy. We're going to take a pause. We'll see you after the break. <laughs> oh, 22. You'll be good at this one. <laughs> Ready or not, Granny? As you get older, you start to worry about who's going to look out for them after you're, you know, gone. That's why I've decided to get a quote from British Seniors, the over 50s life insurance specialists. Welcome to British Seniors. How can I help? Hi, I'd like to get a quote, please. Because you're a UK resident aged between 50 and 80, you're guaranteed to be accepted. Hmm. You can get a guaranteed cash payout up to £10,000. With 100% of claims paid, prices start from just £4.32 a month for £1,000 of cover. Where are there are you? no medicals or blood tests, and I can arrange everything over the phone now. Plus, when you take out a policy, you get a free £125 gift card. Well, that's cheaper than I thought. There might even be some left over as a gift for the... Found you! Grandkids. My turn! <laughs> I'll go ahead. British seniors are proud to protect thousands of people across the UK. To get a quote today, call our friendly UK team on 0800 470 3665 or search British seniors over 50s. Macmillan Coffee Morning is back this September. So let's get together and do whatever it takes for people living with cancer. Whether you're making it, baking it, even faking it. Dancing, laughing, family gathering, or just coffee and chatting. The money you raise helps us do whatever it takes for people living with cancer. There's still time to join in. Order your free coffee morning kit today by searching Macmillan Coffee Morning now. Is that a naked protester? Yeah. Every day, a million trees are cut down for toilet paper. I don't want to be Lou Roll. Absolutely not. But hang on. Serious tissues don't cut down trees. They don't. In fact, they plant trees instead. They do. Trees like you and me. Yeah. And Big Al. The legend. Colonel Conker. Good man. Hello. So, why don't you just tell him to switch to serious tissues? <laughs> I can see his ball. Switch now at serioustissues.com. Burnley's a small town and there's only 90,000 people that live here. We are in a relegation battle. I don't think these Americans understand Burnley. And with that, Burnley are relegated from the Premier League. This is a big ask for Vincent Company. The detail he goes into is unbelievable. Come on, go again! He demands so much from us. And we go, we beat them. Absolutely beautiful! And we beat whatever comes after as well. When you're down and people say you're not good enough, trust that we'll finish on top. Listen to the turf more roar!
on Sky Store. You're in for epic adventures with a blockbuster August. My name's Miles Morales. Miles! Wanna get out of here?